I am B. Janardhan Reddy. In continuation of the factors that affect the resistance of a conductor, in this video I am going to explain the another factor that is nature of material. How the resistance of a conductor depends upon the nature of the material with which it is made up of. That we are going to learn in this video. So in order to understand the resistance of a conductor depends upon the nature of the material with which it is made up of, I will show an activity. Okay. So here is the activity. To show the resistance of a conductor depends on the material of the conductor. The materials required. Dry cell, connecting wires, switch, copper rod, aluminium rod, iron rod and ammeter. So these are the materials which we require in order to do this activity. Here I am showing the material also. This is your dry cell, connecting wire, switch, ammeter. It measures, it is milliammeter. So it measures current in the circuit in milliamperes. Here I am taking different metal rods. Copper rod, aluminium rod and iron rod. So these are the different metal rods having same length and same cross-sectional area. The only thing is that these conductors have been made up of different materials, different metals and their length and cross-sectional areas are same. Okay. First, I will make a circuit like this. This is your dry cell. It has two terminals. At the top end, we have the positive terminal and at the bottom end, we have the negative terminal. Okay, so this is a switch ammeter. Now I am connecting the circuit like this through the switch. The negative terminal of the dry cell has been connected to the negative terminal of the milliammeter through a switch like this. And I will connect positive terminal of the milliammeter like this. So here I am leaving some gap. That means the circuit is open now. Now I will place the different metal rods here in this gap. Okay. And once switch is on, circuit will be closed. At that time, I will measure how much current flows in the circuit. See here. First, I am taking copper rod. Okay. I will place this copper rod in this gap. Now, let us switch on the circuit here. See here, because the circuit has been closed now, some current is flowing in the circuit. Okay, so we can measure that current in the circuit through this milliammeter. How much current is flowing? We can see here it is 450 milliamps current is flowing. So when copper rod is connected in this gap, 450 milliamperes current is flowing in the circuit. So let us record this value in a table. See here. Serial number, name of the material, current in milliampere. Serial number 1, copper rod. We have taken copper rod. And how much current is flowing when copper rod is connected in the gap 450 milliamperes is current current is flowing in the circuit. Okay.
let us fill this gap by another material say aluminum rod now i will place the aluminum rod here let us switch on the circuit see here now how much current is flowing now it is 350 milliamperes current is flowing previously 450 milliamperes current was flowing when copper rod was connected in this gap now when aluminum rod is connected in this gap so the current has decreased it is 350 milliamperes current is flowing in circuit now okay so let us uh, note down this value in the table in the same table serial number 2 name of the material is aluminum and how much current is flowing circuit it is 350 milliamperes current is flowing next i will fill this gap with iron rod and the thing is that all the rods have been made up of different materials but they are having the same length and same cross sectional areas now turn the switch on let us see how much current is flowing it is 200 250 60 70 to 80 milliamperes current is flowing now current has decreased further compared to the previous case so let us note down this value also here when iron rod is connected in the gap how much current is flowing it is 290 milliamperes current is flowing approximately so we can conclude one thing that the resistance of a conductor depends upon the material with which it is made up of when copper rod is connected more current is flowing in circuit means copper offers less resistance to the current and when aluminum rod was connected 350 milliamperes current is flowing that means aluminum offers more resistance to the current than copper rod similarly when iron rod is connected still less current is flowing current has further decreased it means that iron of these three metals iron offers high resistance it means that when iron rod is connected less current flows in the circuit okay so we can conclude one thing that here we can draw one conclusion that here the resistance of a conductor depends on the material of the conductor okay thank you